Hello my quilting friends! My name is Leah Day and welcome to this tutorial on ruler foot quilting on the Janome 1600. I still have a little bit of ruler quilting to finish up on my dream big quilt and I figured this would be a great opportunity to teach you how to do ruler quilting on this high speed straight stitch machine. So let's get started. So let's get started ruler foot quilting on the Janome 1600. And all of the settings, the thread, how I set my machine up is identical to how I set it up for free motion quilting. So make sure to watch the other video that I did on free motion quilting on the Janome 1600. I go into a lot more detail about why, the why behind all of these things. But real quick, I'm going to talk through it. I have my stitch length over here set to zero. I have isocord thread thread it up on the machine and that's the same color, same type of thread in the top and bobbin. I always use the same thread in the top and bobbin of the machine. I have a supreme slider. This is a queen size supreme slider here over the machine bed with the center hole lined up with the needle hole. And that in addition to lowering my stitch length over here is all I do to stop the feed dogs from feeding against the quilt and causing me any problems. I don't drop my feed dogs. You actually can't drop your feed dogs on the 1600. Uh, instead, you can use a little needle plate. This is a thicker needle plate that stops the feed dogs from rubbing up against your quilt. But I find that just lowering my stitch length and uh, covering with the Supreme Slider is all I need to do. So I'm gonna get started with some ruler quilting. I have a beautiful petal here, and I'm gonna get back to some of my pinstripe matrix design. So now let's talk about our rulers and our ruler foot. I have my convertible quilting foot here. This is a darning foot that allows you to switch out different bases on the bottom. And I have attached a ruler base and you can find this in our frame quilting foot set. So now let's talk about our quilting rulers. This is the special side of ruler quilting where we're not just free motion quilting, we're using a ruler or template and pushing that up against the edge of a ruler foot. And this is a foot with a high base. It has a high lip around it that allows you to press the ruler in place and guide it and the quilt through the machine. Now for the 1600, you're gonna want the thicker thickness of rulers. And I have both of them here. Here's two super slide rulers. This one is the home machine thickness, the 1 8 inch thick. And this is actually really designed for low shank machines for machines who have very low resting feet. They usually have a bar back here that are really low down that make it very difficult to get a ruler back there. You know, you're gonna want that thicker thickness because it's just going to make the ruler that much more stable and safe. You know that foot's not gonna be able to hop up and over that edge. So I'm gonna line up here. I have my design started. I'm quilting some matrix in this petal. And I am quilting this with the super slide ruler. So I'm gonna get this in position so that I have an etched line on the ruler lining up with a line that I previously stitched. And I'm just gonna press gently and get started quilting. But this machine is built for speed. So keep that in mind as you press down, it is designed to go fast. So make sure to adjust with your hands and move faster with your hands just so you can keep nice consistent looking stitches. Now I am intentionally building up thread between the petals. That's just the look that I'm going for here. So I travel stitch back and forth a bit and then now I'm gonna reset, get my ruler in position again, lining up an etch line on the ruler with the line I just stitched and I'm gonna shift and I'm pushing the whole thing. I'm pushing the quilt and the ruler, all of it, evenly and smoothly right through the machine. Okay, and again, I'm gonna build up a little bit of thread here as I travel stitch down. This time, let's see just how fast we can go. I'm gonna really put my foot down because the 1600 stitches per minute, that is kind of the thing with this machine. So I gotta get ready to go. I'm putting my hand down. I'm really gripping hard on my ruler. Here we go. Woo, that is fast. <laughs> So as you can see, I had to really push the quilt fast through the arm of the machine. Uh, I noticed though that my lines weren't as perfectly spaced. So I really think it's a good idea to just stick with the medium speeds of your machine and you know, kind of build up to going faster maybe. That would be a good idea. Just so that way you can maintain your spacing and have your quilting design come out just exactly right. 
So how matrix works, it's basically just a wiggly grid. You're going to quilt lines evenly spaced in one direction. In this case, I am quilting lines that are half of an inch spaced apart in one direction, maintaining that nice curve throughout. And then I'm going to stitch lines in the opposite direction. You can see the beautiful effect that this creates. So matrix is just as easy as grid lines. It's our straight line grid, but you know, it's one of those designs that just adds really nice movement because of those curves. And it's just as easy. And I think it's a little faster because you can use the curving rulers, which this one in particular is a little bit longer. So you don't have to reposition as often. So yeah, that is pretty much how I'm going to continue filling in this petal with matrix using ruler quilting. The biggest key to keep in mind is that you are doing a form of free motion quilting, which means that you have to always be thinking about balancing that speed of your hands pushing the quilt with the speed of your needle bouncing up and down. And you know, just for fun, I always put my foot down in these videos just to show you how fast the Janome 1600 can go but you don't have to access those highest speeds. I'd say that's really only for after you've gotten lots of practice in, you're really comfortable with it, and you really know what you're doing. Uh, but it's always fun just to see just how fast you can go because man, does this machine have some power and some speed. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot about ruler quilting on the Janome 1600. If you'd like to learn more about this machine or check out any of the quilting feet or accessories that I carry, you can come and learn more at leahday.com slash Until next time, let's go quilt.